Hey Vanessa, are you ready for the midterm? Honestly, no. I knew I should have dropped this course when I had the chance. I'm a visual learner and all Dr. Kazi ever does is talk and talk. I would do so much better in this course if I was an auditory learner. I don't talk that much. Also, Vanessa, what if I told you you're not a visual learner? What do you mean I'm not a visual learner? Then what am I? You're not any Whoa. type of learner. Sorry? Sucks to be you. You're not any type of learner either, Peter. What? No one can be categorized into a type of learner because learning styles don't exist. How is that possible? Let me show you. So as we know, some people like to listen to their lecture recordings because they believe they're an auditory learner. Or color code their notes because they believe they're a visual learner. There's also reading and writing learners, those who like to engage with text. Or even physical learners, those who use experiences like experiments and hands-on activities. I'm sure at some point both of you have taken the BuzzFeed quiz on which type of learner you are. And you believe that your learning style can help you better absorb information. Well, anytime I've searched online about learning styles, all I've found were positive studies. Well, they're popular in psychology because they're intended to identify how people learn best. It categorizes learners into styles and suggests that teaching students based on their style will result in improved learning. However, there's currently no actual scientific evidence that supports this claim. How about we delve a little deeper? Whoa, how did, where are? Shh, I'm trying to listen. In an experiment by Massa and Mayer, participants were randomly given a lesson, either with text or illustrations, and then completed a test based on the information given in the lesson. Afterwards, they categorized the participants into verbal or visual learners via a questionnaire that revealed that even when learning styles matched the teaching methods, there was no significant improvement in test results. In a similar study, researchers tested whether three learning styles, visual, auditory, and kinesthetic, correlated with enhanced performance on memory tests. This study had two phases. First, participants self-assessed their learning style. In the second phase, participants completed three standardized memory tests involving visual, auditory, and tactile learning. The results of the study found that memory test performance did not correlate with learning style preference because superior performance was not seen when learning style matched the testing style. That's crazy. But I'm also crushed that learning styles don't lead to a lifetime of easy A's. Don't stress, friends. Research also offers plenty of alternatives for enhancing learning. Here are two ways. For students, self-testing and practice tests have shown to enhance performance because they promote active retrieval and they direct your attention to key concepts you might not know very well. For educators, research shows that praising effort can enhance learning. Dweck, a Stanford psychologist looked at this phenomenon in children's achievement motivation. Instead of praising intelligence, a fixed trait, Dweck advises praising students' strategies and work habits because it emphasizes something they control and can improve on. Wow, thanks for all the advice, Dr. Kazi. I'm happy to help. I'll let you two get back to studying now. I'll see you tonight for your midterm. Whoa. I guess I won't fail this midterm after all. Peter, will you quiz me? Yeah, let's take turns.